Welcome to the unboxing of Aoya. I'm one of the first persons in the world to open this Kickstarter funded product. But you know, if, if you saw the, the Kickstarter launch of this this product, you, you could tell these people had major funding behind them and they they used Kickstarter as as a way to see if their product would get traction and of course to get uh, major publicity. So let's see. I already took the seals off and a nice message here the first thing they want you to know is that they they thank us for believing and the premise of this console is that uh, any indie developer can can create games for it and if i'm correct uh you can create games using the android technology because this little guy runs android let's see this wow so yes <laughs> The the gamepad is bigger than the console. It's basically a small cube and it fits in my hand. Uh, let's see. This is the bottom. And this is the back. And I can see a power input port. I see an Ethernet. I see a US, micro USB. A USB and an HDMI uh, port. Let's see what the control is like. So, it is a wireless controller, and let's see if there's anything else in the box. So, oh, thank you very much, uh, Aoya, for including a HDMI cable. Uh, not even freaking PlayStation will give you a, a HDMI cable. That's a great detail, guys. And uh, the power uh, adapter. I believe there's a little more. There's... Uh, couple of uh, AA batteries uh, and yes there's a little manual here oh, it seems to be a manual so I want to know what these batteries are for I suppose they are for the the controller what I thought was the the bottom of the console is actually the top there's a FCC regulation uh, logo here and other logos it's really light just a few uh, you know maybe a pound or so and uh, for those of you who are minimalist and you don't want to have uh, too much stuff around your TV, this is going to be perfect. There's um, names and numbers. I wonder if this means how much money they gave or, or if these are communities because they, they talk about handy games, head up games, uh, Keith Enough, GameFans.com. So maybe these are supporters from gamer communities. So we figured out how to put the batteries on the controller and these are these removable panels and then you can just stick your battery in here but I sense that this is gonna be a problem also it's gonna be a way for them to make some extra money I bet they could be selling this in different colors and designs they could probably partner up with somebody uh, you know maybe a, a special edition of the controller and all they gotta do is just change or put decals on this or maybe you could even create your own decals and start a business um, modding these controllers but what I see as a problem is that usually video game controllers you you drop them and I, I, I will see this like dropping and opening and let, let's see how it holds up with with wear and tear so we have what seems to be the power button standard gamepad to um, precise you know like analog uh, controllers and uh, it's got the four buttons here it's very very plain and simple and it feels it feels very good in my hands no complaints there so let's hook this guy up let's see how the boot up sequence looks like so it's now hooked up everything and uh, I'm gonna go with my instinct and I would say that if I press this button here it's going to start so I see the controller is flashing it's trying to look for the Aoya. I see no signal on the TV. It is hooked up. Maybe it's a power source issue. Oh, one. Nothing. Uh, let's see if there's a button somewhere in here. Yep, there's a button here on the top now. It was kind of hidden in the blackness of it, but now we see that it's on. Yes, now there's a signal coming in. 
a few seconds of terror. And uh, let's see. Nice. So, um, to, to pair your controller, press and hold the Ouya button. Still nothing. There we go. And continue. Let's see. Uh, uh, join a wireless network. And, uh, well, I'm going to go through the setup and get back to you once it's all set up. It looks really nice. Checking for a software update. Downloading awesomeness. The update has finished and it's rebooting now. Yeah. Already created the account, um, so I'm just gonna try to enter my my password and my login. Yes, that was it. I was there already. So downloaded the first game, Spectre, and let's hit play. The control. Um, even though it's only powered by AA batteries, it looks like it has an algorithm to save as much battery as possible because it'll turn off after a while. So, games ask for permission. Oh boy, let's hope this little guy's not gonna knock anything down. And uh, yes, system phone calls because this this is basically Android, so it's asking for all the the, the permissions Android has to ask. Let's skip this. It plays video really nice. See how it renders their game. Very smooth. Game console running on Android. And let's see how it renders 3D. Um, pretty smooth to me. Learn how to play, yes. Much more in the full version. So we're gonna have plenty of free games here, and it, it is rendering 3D smoothly. It looks like like an arcade video game. And I'm playing here with one hand, so bear with me. First time I play this game, and you can get you get the picture. It is a full-blown console. It moves 3D graphics just fine. So you will be able to develop anything for this. Shooters, whatever you want. 100 bucks. Oh yeah. Indie developers, rejoice.